so what do we have here? Ah, that is sweet. Elite. But the really weird thing is that you have to go to the Commodore 64 mode in order to, to run it. So, here we go. Let's load it. And it says... Okay, so... English, thin... S start elite, 128. So... It's loading. Of course, being able to play an enhanced version of Elite is always very nice. Uh, the Commodore 128 version is more enhanced than the Commodore 64 version, so it seemed seems. And uh, it's slowly loading. So, uh, yeah, it is going to take a little while, I guess. So, it's really weird because it looks very similar to an Amiga. And it also looks very similar to 120, or, or to the Commodore 64C. And the color is a bit more grayish. The, uh, the Commodore 64C is more white. This is more of an off-white. And, uh... Yeah, as you can see, the uh, Elite program is still loading of the solid state drive, which is just as fast as a regular drive. And, and it's really weird that this program actually starts in Commodore uh, 64 mode. If you load it into the Commodore 128 mode you, and you run the same file, you get a welcome file. And just nothing else. It, it just doesn't continue, uh, which is weird. I guess the Commodore 64 mode has a way of, yeah, somehow allowing access to the uh, to the extra parts. In the 128K mode, all keys are used, but in the Commodore 64 mode, these special keys are not used. Nor are these. Uh, these aren't as, uh, aren't either. Uh, you just use this part of the keyboard and then the function keys. Ah, looky here. Elite 128. Well, I guess they had uh, some uh, some some uh, time to stuff in some uh, some music. So that's the fir that's a, that's a first elite with music. And let me plug in a joystick. The joystick ports are a bit better as well in this system because they kind of look like serial ports, and the pens are le and the pens are less tight, so the pins are less tight, so. Whoops. Let's press fire and see what happens. So, Commander Jameson. And then, of course, you need the manual as well. I always forget. Ah. So, here I am flying around, it's a tough game. But yeah, it seems a bit, a bit faster than the the versions that I'm used to because I'm I'm used to playing this on a, a PAL system. Um, but yeah, wonder what uh, real fans of the um, of the game uh, think of this system. It comes with a bit of music, and I guess uh, 
it, it stores quite a bit of it in, uh, in memory. It uses the, uh, the 128K of the Commodore, 60, uh, Commodore 128, uh, pretty good. So yeah, well, Elite, running Elite on the Commodore um, 128.